Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shade Shade Loso, and I make videos about fashion and things that do not concern me. If you like this video, please go ahead, like, share, comment, send it to a friend, to a friend, to a cousin, to an auntie, to everybody. Okay, today's video, we are going to be talking about transitioning into winter. So right now we are in the month of September and it's getting a bit chilly. Like it's the part where in the morning it's freezing. Like right now it's about 8 a.m. in the morning and it's chilly, it's cold. And then you're gonna wear a jacket or you're gonna wear like too many layers. And then by 2 p.m. it's hot and you're like, what is going on? So today, this video is just talking about how you can style your outfits for the weather, how you're gonna transition into winter, still being comfortable, being fashionable, and all of those kind of things. So let's get into it. So as you're transitioning into the winter, where it's a bit warm, a bit cold, and it's just a mixture of, you know, weathers, there are some staple pieces that you need in your wardrobe. And these pieces are really easy to style with some of the summer, summer pieces that you already have. And they're also easy to style with the winter pieces that you already have. So for example, this patent Zara mini skirt that I have on and this white tank top, this is something I would wear in the summer already. I would wear this maybe with some slippers, some slides. Um, but now that we're transitioning into the winter, I can't wear slippers and slides, obviously. So we are going to style this with a pair of boots so right now i have a few boots down here you can't see them i'm gonna pop some up let me show you so we have my campsite boots from valentino these are my go-to boots obsessed you need a pair of combat boots that are versatile that you can wear literally throughout the year so you have a pair of these i have my tabby margella Boots in white, guys, keep these safe. Keep these safe, okay? <laughs> if you have any tabby tab boots, keep them safe. I have these gorgeous cowboy boots that I'm obsessed with. I got these last year and they currently do have them again in Zara, so I'll link that down below. And lastly, we have these thigh high boots that I'm obsessed with. So we're gonna start the video with this basic white tank top and this mini patent skirt. So just FYI, for the longest time, I didn't have plain white tank tops in my wardrobe. I do not know why I didn't. I didn't really get like that fashion. I know it's weird, I didn't really get it. But now I am the tank top queen. I didn't realize the, what's the word? The, um, you know I can't speak English properly. <laughs> The, the versatility of a white, I, I really didn't get it. I just thought they were too basic, but now a white tank top can literally change a whole outfit. So, so we're gonna go ahead and style this outfit with, let's go ahead and pair this with the comeback boots because let's just, let's let's do that. Let's just pair up the comeback boots. So the boots are on, um, as you can see, this outfit has already transitioned into like a winter outfit. I know that some people do wear boots in the summer, I do as well. But I think once you put boots on a basic outfit like this, you're already ready for the colder weather. So now we have a couple of jackets here. And again, like, as I said, in the morning it's quite cold, but then in the afternoon it gets really, really warm. And you don't want something that's too heavy because if it's like, I don't know, three o'clock yesterday I went out and by like two, I was wearing a hoodie, by like two I was hot and I was sweating and I was like, okay then, I haven't really figured out this weather thing again. First of all, I'm gonna go ahead with a blazer. A blazer is literally one of the most essential things you need in your wardrobe. The, one of, what I say, the most, one of the most essential things you need in your wardrobe. Right now, H&M have this gorgeous blazer. It's retailing for about, I think, 40 pounds, and it's stunning. It's a double-breasted blazer, and I think that blazer would be amazing for this weather and just for, like, long-term as well. This blazer is from the charity shop. I get most of my blazers from the charity shop, if I can, because the quality and the price point, obviously, is fantastic. So let's go ahead and put this on. Blazer is on and 
chef's kiss i know this is quite a basic outfit but look at how like cute the skirt is the boots the jacket it just brings that out i think the blazer just brings the outfit together and this is something you can also wear over the shoulder i think when think when it's really hot and you know like you're bothered but then you're cold oh you know that feeling when you're hot but you're cold but you can't wear a heavy jacket a blazer that's when you need a blazer. So something like this is just so cute. You can accessorize it, you can put a choker in it, put loads of rings. I usually have loads of rings, a choker, big hoops. This is something already ready transition into the transitioning into the winter. You can also throw a pair of um net net um stockings, tights stripy tights like depending on your style obviously you can just like funky it up jazz it, zhuzh it, zhuzh it, do whatever works for you but make sure you're comfortable i think also always make sure they're comfortable so this is one outfit for a patent skirt i'm also going to show you it maybe if you're going out in the evening and you want to zhuzh it up a bit more so let's get into that look next up we have these thigh high boots oh my god Hallelujah, sorry, I'm obsessed with these shoes. I'm obsessed with these shoes. And a thigh high boot, I feel like just makes an outfit so sexy. Yes, again, this 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 and this can still be worn in the summer, but how, see how the boot just elevates the outfit. It shows that yeah, you are ready for the winter, but I'm still looking sexy AF. Do you get sexy what? AF. So with this, let's say we're going for drinks with friends, a dinner, a birthday. This outfit, just put on a pair of boots. And obviously if you have knee-high boots, um, any color, paint turn, red, blue, whatever works for you again, you need a pair of boots for the transitioning weather. Where is it said weather? For the transitioning weather. So now I'm going to go ahead and pair this with... I would say because in the in the night time it's quite cold, um, especially in London or England. It gets really really chilly in the wind in the car. <laughs> it gets really chilly in the night time. So I'm gonna go ahead and pair it with this leather jacket. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you need a good leather jacket. Let me just get my hair out of this. Yeah? You need what? A good leather jacket. So I know not everybody has, but some things are pretty expensive, I get that. But what I don't understand is buying a leather jacket for £60 every single year or every two years. It doesn't make sense. Invest in a good quality leather jacket. For me, I am not a fan of faux leather or faux fur. It's just not my thing. Like, it's just not my thing. Yeah? Sorry, Peter, I'm sorry. Peter, what are you calling? I'm sorry. I'm not a fan. I like real leather. I think the quality, the way it looks, the way it feels, the longevity of it is just a chef's kiss. So this is an evening outfit, right? I would wear this literally just like this. Again, accessorize it, put your cute handbag. Let me actually get a handbag for you guys. This is my go-to bag at all times. This is the mini Jody, Rotega mini Jody. And look, just see how... See how, how fire, you're, 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 you're literally ready. You're ready for the winter time. But then again, if you take this off, you're like summer. Well, not summer, but you know what I mean? Like you're trying, just making sure that you're comfortable. You're not too cold. You don't need like a huge jacket at the moment, but you need a good leather jacket, a good leather jacket. I will put some places that have relatively affordable leather jackets. Um, but I would say also go to like um thrift thrift stores charity stores go to random stores go to um car boot sales ebay like those places is what are those are the places where you're going to find really good quality jackets um again i'm not a fan of high street brands that um make faux fur and they're charging ridiculous prices like i cannot spend 100 pounds on a faux fur jacket faux fur faux faux leather uh-uh it ain't happening over here. Let's also say you want to do the most because I've, I'm, I, I'm all about doing the most, okay? Put, some, put a pair of sunglasses on. A pair of sunglasses. Your look is looking. Your look is looking. Yeah? <laughs> oh, 
wow look how fly i look see how a basic outfit can just be elevated with the right accessories again like i'm not wearing jewelry i'm not like have nothing on but imagine just putting some jewelry a choker you know just zhuzh your outfit up do you get what i'm saying yeah see how we created two outfits with just this plain white tank top and this plain tint um, mini skirt. Next, we are gonna move on to this summer dress. Like, so this is one of my favorite dresses. Um, it's just, a, it's not plain, it's like a, I can't even describe the fabric. It's like a, I don't know, I can't really explain this fabric. I'm not too sure how to describe this, but this is a summer dress that I absolutely love. And when I bought it, I bought it a couple of years ago, but then I also thought this with boots would always look great. So we're gonna put this dress on with this, with these boots and we're gonna see what jacket I could wear with this. So here we have this gorgeous maxi dress. This is clearly a summer dress and I've worn this to the office quite a few times. So if you're an office girl, office bay, and you do wear some of your summer dresses, now start thinking of what boots you can wear with these dresses. So I feel like this is just so chic. I think it's just so ladylike. It's just like, just chef's kiss. So now we're thinking what jacket can we hook this up with? Again, you could just wear like a cardigan with something like this. That's what I was thinking. So let's play around. So we have this white cream, off-white cream bomber jacket from Zara. Again, a bomber jacket is needed. If you don't have a bomber jacket, go and find one. <laughs> go and find a bomber jacket. It's perfect for this weather. Let's see how this looks. Thank you. I actually really like this. This is so chic. This is so perfect. You can maybe put this, put the hands up as well. And let's say you're going to work. So let's imagine the bag. Or well, let's not imagine, let's get a bag that I would most probably take to work. This is my go-to work bag. Um, this is just a Bottega huge tote bag. Um, and this is just it. This is so chic. So if you're an office girl or you are someone who runs around a lot, I don't know, this is a type of look. This is just so cute. It's professional. It's not, it's just perfect. You look like an angel as well because you're wearing all white. Hello, hello. Are you kidding me? It looks so fabulous. Again, sunglasses. You need, like, I'm just, you see, I'm just a glug. I love sunglasses. So I think every time I have an outfit, I'm like, just throw a pair of sunglasses on. So let's, let's, let's throw a pair of sunglasses on, okay? Now tell me that I don't look too good. Tell me, tell me, you tell me. Hello? <laughs> hello, hello. I look like I'm going to run an errand and then I'm going to pick up my kids, hop in my um, Porsche. I have two kids, they're in private school and I'm gonna get them for the weekend. And then we're going to um, South of France with the husband and the kids. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Don't play with me, <laughs> okay? Don't play with me. I haven't even accessorized this, so just imagine accessor accessorizing it earrings, just anything that suits you and your wardrobe. And again, like play around, think of dresses that you've had for years, um, any color of dresses, floral dresses, striped dresses, oversized shirts as well. Um, you know, there's some really cute ones that have like a little like frill at the bottom, like just play your wardrobe for your transitioning. I feel like you can be basic and not to say there's nothing wrong with being basic, but the normal like shirt, trousers, yeah, that's cute, but you can play around with like textures, colors, prints to like zhuzh up. So next we are going to, oh, what should we do? We have some t-shirts here and we have, oh, okay then. We are gonna go with these pair of trousers. These trousers are from the H&M Mugler collection and ugh, I thank God every day for these. I wear these all the time. So we're gonna pair this with a black oversized t-shirt. We can do, I think black on black. And then I'm thinking we can do some pointy black boots. This is what I'm thinking. Let's put this together and see how that looks. 
Before we put the shirt on, I just wanted to show you these trousers. These are one of my favorite items in my wardrobe. As I said, these are from the Mugler H&M collection. And I just love this little keyhole detail. It's just really fun and sexy. Um, and I love this belt situation. I don't know what it is, but it like just drapes over or hands over. And I was going to say, find a trousers that you can play around with. Um, there are so many trousers on the market. I think Zara do really great con 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 contrast contrast trousers where you have maybe like a trouser and then a jean or like something playful like stripy and then like you know so something fun again something timeless but then something you can play around in your wardrobe so that's something that i'm looking at as well um, because i wear these all the time and i'm like i need like some more trousers so let's go ahead and put this t-shirt on this t-shirt is from a brand called out of space um they do a lot of fun prints and yeah i just i love them the quality on their stuff is literally next to none it's thick it's like sturdy you can put it in the washing machine obviously at a low heat i would advise dry clean cleaning i prefer to dry clean most of my clothes um but this t-shirt um this brand out of space chef's kiss this is the t-shirt on so it's just a casual t-shirt oversized black trousers very very simple very very simple but i think once i put the heels on it would just like elevate the outfit as you can see this outfit with the boots on i think this is just so chic so 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 chic it's simple it's still giving it's given i got style but today i couldn't be bothered but then i just threw some clothes on because i just had to like get out of the house and again i keep saying accessories like a choker anything that you know that would work with you for you um i'm thinking so i have i actually have the matching blazer for these pants this is the mukula h&m blazer and i'm obsessed with this blazer the shoulder pads in this blazer is insane so let me show you i don't know if i would wear this shirt let me see how this looks hmm i feel like i look like men in black hold on definitely could work and i would go ahead and style this with a red bag i have this really cute bottega dupe um pouch let me get that this is a look this is fun this is definitely fun this is like you can wear this to work you can wear this for drinks with friends again like i'm just thinking of like rings um just like a bunch of stuff that i would like just to make it oomph. do you get what i mean um, and I think this is very ladylike. You can wear this to a meeting. Again, it doesn't have to be like a gra graphic t-shirt. I love graphic t-shirts. I think they just bring character and personality to people's outfits. And I think you can tell a lot by, like, I think naturally you can tell, not necessarily a lot about a person, about what they're wearing, but you can give, have like an inch of like, okay, this person seems fun. This person seems like, you know, they're like color. They might be really like playful. Do you get what I mean? So I think this, you could wear this to like a meeting. And um, again, it doesn't have to be this type of um, graphic t-shirt, but you could wear something that is, I don't know, anything that like works for you. And I put this cute little pouch um, again, if I was going to work, I would carry the big tote bag. I'll show you how that looks in a second. But I think this is just such a fun, cute look. Um, it's given like men in black, but like a really sexy lady version. Do you know what I mean? It's giving. It's giving. It's just giving. So if you're too hot, you can put it on your shoulders. But you can just carry it on your arm. But again, this is a great transitional outfit for the winter. I think this is perfect. Again, it doesn't have to be black. It can be in any color. You can wear this in white. I love an all-white outfit, just like the dress that I wore. You can wear all white. You can wear it blue, pink, whatever suits you, do that. But this is such a tra transitional outfit. And I think this outfit would be great with ballet flats as well. Um, any type of, I said bibli, <laughs> any type of ballet flats that you have, um, I would say um, this outfit will go really, really well. A black pair, a red pair, whatever suits you. Because um, not everyone's a heel girl. Um, but then again, it's, I think ballet flats are still, right now they're good for the weather. I think once it gets to about ending of October, October, <laughs> October, November, um, I would say ballet flats should go away because your feet get cold, but each to their own. Um, 
yeah another look that would be great with this i don't have which is on my list leggings i love leggings i feel like the way you can dress leggings up and down is just the best thing ever so imagine just like an outfit like this literally oversized shirt same like concept but leggings and these boots or you could even do leggings and a thigh high boots do you get like zhuzh it but yeah this is definitely a look and i love it next on the list or on this little rack um let's go ahead and do these 501 Levi jeans this is black again but these are denim jeans i did not again like i didn't have a pair of black denim jeans on recently i bought these on depop um but you can also go to the levi store or you could get them you can literally get them anywhere essentially but i got these from depop i also have these in blue not this pair these are ray um but these 501s are literally my favorite style jeans in the terms of just how they fit they fit amazing um so yeah let's put this on and i'm gonna think like what could like because again you could wear jeans like this in the summer this with a tank top but we wanna oh this biker jacket a biker jacket never fails you oh i think i've got the fit i think i've got the fit i think i've got the fit it's, it's very easy simple fit but I think I've got the fit. I'm thinking this, this biker jacket, these jeans, and these margellas. But what tank top? Should we do another plain white tank top? Or we could, what can we do? Let's do that. Oh, actually, let me get a top out. Let me get this loud brown studio top i have is green i think it'll give definitely give a pop of color let's try that let's put this all together and see how that looks now we have these 501 jeans and um, we have this loud brown studio top this is this is these is <laughs> this is one of my favorite favorite tops um i love the green it's just so cool and yes i would wear this mostly in winter but again we're sorry in winter and summer but we're transitioning so usually i'd wear this maybe with like some shorts um i've worn this with a white mini skirt before if i find the picture i'll put it up here um and some wedges and i love that outfit but then i'm like okay then winter is coming and i want to wear i still want to wear bright colors within in the transitional type of like seasonish you know i'm making sense um, and I've worn this out. I've worn this top actually with blue Levi jeans before and I really really liked it And I thought you know just now I just thought okay. Well, how would it look black? And I think it looks quite nice um, I wouldn't say you would wear this to work per se because obviously the bra situation but drinks solo day date night with your boyfriend like that type of vibe and so if you have any like mesh tops in your wardrobe bring them out don't put them away just yet um you can still wear them throughout the year i have like a mesh white top and a mesh tank top i'm still gonna like wear them until it gets like freezing 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 cold so let's go ahead and try this on with the jacket which was this jacket let's see how it looks this is a cool fit i like this i like this a lot this is really nice this is definitely a bit of me this is a bit of definitely a bit of me i love it this is great this is great. I love how this is cropped and then you still see a bit of the mesh coming down and you have the mesh. I put it out of the sleeves. I really like that. I have huge tits, so this cannot be zipped up. This is a jacket that I wear open, um, but I love this. I think this is so cool and it's versatile. Again, if you're hot, you can take it off because um, right now I'm boiling wearing this jacket because it is a real leather jacket again going back to my thing there are some brands that do quite good biker faux leather but go to like camden market go to i know shoreditch is a bit like mm, go to shoreditch go to like go online you get some really 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 good jackets that are not like too commercial like on asos and stuff like that i don't know if i'm making sense but that's my point lastly on this little 
transition wardrobe style. I am going to try this on for you. This is a H&M, H&M, I'm a liar, Zara. Um, I feel like when I saw this, I just thought this was perfect, like perfect for the transitional weather. Um, it's a tank top and you have the matching cardigan. And I was like, I want this in every color. If this can come in like pink, cream, green, I will have them all. It's just so easy. This, These two colors do look a, a little bit like prison colors. I'm not gonna lie. Cause when I put it on, I was like, I know I'm going to prison when I'm not. But these two, I think cardigans, oh, a cardigan in this weather is perfect. Cause again, in, a, in the morning it's freezing. In the afternoon, you can just throw the, the cardigan around your, around your neck. So let's put this one for you. So this is a tank top on its own. It's just a ribbed tank top. Again, I think I'm definitely in my tank top era. Um, I think I have loads of white tank tops now. I'm literally gonna buy, I think I have I have one, that I think I have one Loewe tank top. It's dirty, hence why it wasn't in this um, little transition. Um, but I literally like, I'm, I didn't, I genuinely didn't realize how, how far a tank top can go. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely my tank top era. So when I saw this little set, I was like, uh, give me. So let's put on the cardigan for you. This is the look. It's just so cute. Like, I know it's so basic, but it's so cute. Again, put your rings on. If you want to do like a bold look on your lips, you could do that. You could put some different colored jeans. But I just love this cardigan tank top look. I'm really hoping Zara comes out with a few more colors. I would be grabbing them, literally. I would get them every color. It's just so nice. For this weather as well, it's perfect. Just throw some sunglasses on. Should we put some sunglasses? Let's put some sunglasses. Much fun. I, I think this is just so cute. Um, again, you can throw a jacket on. Should we throw a jacket on? Um, no. Because this would be great for the morning and this would be great for the evening. And then in the daytime, when you're feeling a bit cold, I mean, feeling a bit hot, we would just put it on our shoulders. So when it gets a bit cold, um, sorry, it keeps saying cold. When it gets a bit warm and you're just over the heat with this little cardigan, you just put it on your shoulders like this, tie it like this, and you're literally good to go. So I love this set so much. Like, I'm obsessed, <laughs> I'm obsessed. I got the tank top in the large. I could have got an extra large. Um, because it doesn't come down. I don't know if it's meant to be cropped. Um, I don't know if it's meant to be cropped, but it's like, it comes a bit cropped on me. Um, and I got the cardigan in an extra large because I knew that my arms and my boobs were not gonna work with Zara sizing. Um, but yeah, I love this look. I think it's just so chic. Um, you can be, and with the boots, I would literally wear it how I'm wearing it right now. The boots, the jeans, a handbag, depending where I'm going, but I'm absolutely, be love it so that's a wrap for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope i inspired you to play with the simplest and funnest things you have in your wardrobe don't be shy to mix match um wear a boot on a on a gown if you want like you can literally wear whatever you want how you want just be comfortable of course um Obviously, there's some things that I need to go and buy and leggings this winter. I love leggings um, and a few more tank tops like long sleeves. Um, I know like H&M, Zara, even Skims. I might invest into some Skims long sleeves that you could just like throw on with cute cardigans, cute jackets and invest. Invest in good pieces, guys. I know trendy pieces can sometimes have a chokehold on you because you're like, I need this, but you don't. Sometimes think of, okay, then how... Many times am I gonna wear this? What's the longevity? And I've said that a few times in my videos, but this that is literally how I shop now. So if you like this video, please go ahead to, go ahead to, if you like this video, <laughs> go ahead and give it a thumbs up, share, like, comment, send it to your mom, your mom's friend, your cousin, your dad, your, your pastor, everybody, do you know what I'm saying? Thank you and I'll see you in my next video.